Hey guys, welcome to another video. So we'll be going through March debt update and we're gonna see how well we did. I'm sort of excited because I'm so proud of myself. Hi and welcome, my name is Gracia. I'm a mom of one and on this channel you'll find my debt-free journey content. You'll also find monthly budgets and so on. I am on a journey to becoming financially free and also to provide a better future for my son and I. So if you like these types of videos, stay tuned. I promise you won't be disappointed. And by the way, subscribe. It's absolutely free and welcome to the family. Do you wanna, do you wanna come along with me? Come along with me. Do you wanna? So we've got our printables from the beginning of the month here and we've got everything listed down in the order in which we filmed it last time. I will link the video above in the information cards and I'll also link it in the description box so you guys could sort of see that video and be able to compare the video to this one. Our starting balance with our credit card was £2,776.38 and it's now down to, which is EB, end balance, it's down to £2,261. And the reason why it's not less than this, do you remember credit cards incur charges and if you do use it as well, you have to take into account that balance all right so that's what happened there but we're going to move along now we've got our personal loan we didn't pay anything to that so it's still at three thousand three hundred and twenty pounds personal loan two it's still at two thousand two hundred and fifty pounds because this payment already came out when i first filmed this video so a payment was made so that's why the end balance is the same as the starting balance now personal loan three we didn't pay anything so that remains at one thousand two hundred and thirty five pounds forty nine pence Personal loan for, we did make a payment, so that brought the balance down to £1,336.11. pence. And then we've got personal loan 5, which still stands at 670 Tech gear is still at 200 and. 200 pounds and 64 pence and my student loan before i started filming i decided to go on to the government site to see what my loan is currently you guys know i overestimated it at 2950 pounds but it's actually 2912 pounds 69 pence now my student loan is at two percent apr and over the last six years, it's incurred interest of about £400, okay? And I know it's a little bit of interest for the amount of time, but this was a £2,500 loan and it's now t almost three grand. So we want to work on these two, the ones that have got interest, which are the credit card and the student loan. I want to start working on the student loan to try and bring it down and get it cleared off because I don't want anything that's got any sort of, you know, interest attached to it keeping me in debt for longer, okay? You have to be smart. So what I'm going to do in my next video, I'm going to, on the back of this, there's another printable like this on the back. So I'm going to transfer everything, but I'm going to list them out a little bit differently and I'm going to put the highest debt first. Actually, no. I'm going to put the debts with the interest first. So I'm going to put the debts with the interest first and then I'll continue down by the highest straight down to the lowest once I've listed the 
interest debts so that will make it a bit easier anyway we've got our handy dandy calculator here so we are going to add our numbers up so we've got two thousand two hundred and sixty one plus thirty three twenty plus twenty two fifty plus twelve thirty five point forty nine plus 13, 36.11, plus 670, plus 200.64, plus 29, 12.69. So we have got a balance of 1,000, well, not, not, what am I saying, 1,000, I wish, 14,000. One hundred and twenty five pounds fifty four pence. So if we subtract that from the fourteen seven seven six point eight zero, we've paid down about six fifty one twenty six in debt. Now I do know I paid more than this, but this is the figure because you have to take into account the student loan. I know it's a bit like, oh, it doesn't make sense. And it also doesn't match up with what I've put on my Instagram. But my Instagram post was done before I checked my student loan. So at the time I posted those, they were actually correct. And I'm not going to go and change it. It is what it is. Do you know what I mean? But this is how much we pay down, which is fine. I emptied out all of my savings and put it towards my credit card. So my goal is to get this credit card paid off in full and only use it for emergencies, period, 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 period. Nothing else, just for emergencies and then work on the student loan as well and then work on the other bits within this circle. Now, I do have to make extra money in order to get this debt down. I am aware of that. So I will be selling my printables. So if anyone's interested, you guys know, I've got a little Etsy shop where I sell these printables and also my budgeting printables. And I'll be adding a few more to the shop over the next few months or so. And I also have some clothing and some electronics that I'm going to be selling just to sort of get extra money in to put towards debt. It's a bit scary because I'm like, oh my God, all of this money could have gone towards my house deposit. But you know what? I prefer to pay off all my debts and be completely debt free before I even start going down the route of getting a mortgage. And that's why I said to you guys in the first video, I sort of did this in a sort of crazy but strategic way. So even when I am debt free and I go for a mortgage, this will still be there. They will still be able to see this sort of history on there. And I will use my credit card here and there, you know, just to keep things active. But that's it for the budget update for the month of March. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Also subscribe, it's free. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Wanna shake the ground? Wanna break away, let loose.